Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. The FNM at Home event this time around is Popper. It's Historic Popper. Now, earlier this week I asked uh, my friend Michael1916 who you should go follow on Twitch. He streams. He's cool like that. 1916. Uh, if he and I could brew Historic Popper to play against each other. And then lo and behold, that turns out to be exactly what comes up for FNM at Home. So I already have my deck built. I already have uh, actually two decks built, uh, but one I built specifically for this. So the following cards are banned, Persistent Petitioners. Otherwise, it's pretty much exactly what's written on the 10. Seems cool. <laughs> it seems all right. So let's jump right on in. So I have, I'll play twice with this. This is Historic Popper White Auras, uh, because it only gives me so many characters, I suppose. Uh, the idea for the deck is pretty simple. You have two things you do. One, you take your small creatures like Beloved Princess, Healer's Hawk, they have lifelink and some form of evasion. Uh, and then you also happen to have, let's see, uh, there's, there's a Transcendent Envoy, that's a common. Uh, <laughs> it has evasion, you know, makes them cheaper. And Heliod's Pilgrim. It enters the battlefield, you get to search your library for an aura and add it to your hand. Which includes all kinds of stuff. We have Sentinel's Eyes, we have Forced... What is this doing here? We have Knight's Pledge, because this is Popper, so we don't have all the glitters. Uh, we have Passivism? What? Okay, so the other side of the deck is that you play cards like Forced Worship, Passivism, Trapped in the Tower, Dreadful Apathy, uh, and Luminous Bonds to prevent the opponent from being able to attack or block or activate abilities. Uh, and so, yeah, that's it. Step one, make a creature that can swing through. Step two, prevent the opponent from being able to do anything about said creature or to stop you. And other than that, we have one idyllic range, we have four secluded step, and 16 planes. Uh, easy enough. Uh, just real quick, I, I forgot to mention dub as another uh, pump spell, another aura that goes onto our creature. And yeah, that's, that's the deck, pretty much. Our creatures actually don't end up getting all that big, but they don't need to be, as long as they can't stop us. So that's deck number one, and we'll try it out, see if we can get some uh, wins in with this. All right. Here goes nothing. Now, uh, word of warning, my internet here has been terrible, so I apologize if we have any issues there. All right, who is this? JP Laga. Okay. Well, from one colorless planeswalker to another. Ooh. Well, they go first. I'll actually keep it. That's, this is stupidly risky, but I'll keep it. She's a one-drop, and I have two chances to get another planes. That, oh, well, okay. Um, Ta-da! <laughs> it happens. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I've started to think, maybe people think I'm on, like, land destruction and they don't want to have to deal with that. Maybe. Oh, oh okay. Absolutely. Yes, I love these tri-lands. They let me brew more decks. Okay, but we'll get a real win in. We'll get an actual win. Tentacules Master. Tentacules. Alright, so we have three lands, creature, creature, pu uh, pump spell, and then something to deal with the opponent. So yeah, we're good. We're in great shape. For this, I'll play Healer's Hawk for hello. And hello. Give them the hello as well. Ooh, nice. Okay. So... Play the Sentinel's Eyes on you. Hello. Hello? Touchpad? A touch screen? touchpad. What am I even saying? Alright, there we go. If they kill my creature, I might be in a bit of trouble. Oh, Prophet! Okay. I can't stop the scry, though. That's a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, I might want to use Apathy here instead. So yeah, I can't attack or block, and later I can actually get rid of it. Call it, uh, Tempo Auras, I guess. Oh, 
Uh oh. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, well that's one way to do it, I guess. And then play it right back. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right, so we can't attack or block. Alright, and then pass turn. We're just gonna try to slowly tempo the opponent out. Alright, that's good. They get to scry one, then scry one. Alright, well, whatever it is, they're keeping it. Aha! Do this now. Yeah, that'll do it. It's not such a big deal, though, because Sentinel's Eyes is in the... Oh! Uh-oh! Oh, that's important, actually. Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. So I can go Healer's Hawk, Sentinel's Eyes. I could also put it on the Princess, but she can be blocked by the Lava Runner. I'm going to wait. I'm going to play this on their creature. Alright, there we go. Just hit for one, for now. Maybe that was wrong. Oh, here we go again. We're actually winning the race. Aha! Now we can just put two Sentinel's Eyes on the Princess. And play the Healer's Hawk. Alright, here we go. And then get rid of the two that are there. Yeah, with the lifelink, we are way ahead in this race. But, something can happen. I don't have anything in the yard for the uh, Sentinel's Eyes anymore. But I have another Luminous Bond, so we're okay there. We aren't outside of, uh, what, Lightning Strike range yet, and that's a problem, because that's definitely a card in this. Or Fire Prophecy, or Scorching Dragon Fire, all the other things. Just basically Shock is the only one we're okay with now. Man, I do not envy them this position. Start by going to combat, attack with the team, can't be blocked. Oh, it can... Oh, I see. Interesting. That's right, that's right. It won't be... It, it's big enough that it'll win combat, but it can be blocked. I I knew that. Okay. So never mind, that ended up being okay. I hope they don't have any mass removal. Okay. That works. Alright. And then, yeah, in turn. Wait. Yeah, okay. We're not going to put it on just yet. A transcendent envoy. I'm going to I'm going to wait actually. Does anything in their deck have flash, I wonder? Fire away. Uh oh, there's there's one. Okay, so we would have gotten punished had we gone for the Sentinel's Eyes there. All right, so now they all cost less. Hurrah! Without red mana, it might now might be an okay time to go for it. Yeah, let's go for it here. Still dies to shock, though. Both of them do. Gain first strike and draw a card. Okay. Hey! I have a creature. Guess what that creature can't do? Give you one guess. Hey! 
got there! Okay, so that's the deck doing its thing. That's what the deck is supposed to do. That's mono white historic auras. Uh, weaknesses to the deck. Decks without creatures, though this is popper, that's expected to be rather rare. Oh, hi, sad robot. Well, it's not so much a sad robot anymore. It's, uh. I don't know. This card is to the original art what Skrillex is to Bob Mars' Dark, Dark Confidant, is how I like to think of it. Okay, but we'll keep playing. Uh, we'll get. Yeah, we'll get one more in with this. And then I'll move over to the other deck real quick. I try to go for four wins just so that I can get the 250 coins and then the 300 coins. Ooh, but wait a minute. Maybe I should... Okay, so my daily quest today is black or red spells, which I'm not going to be able to do it this deck. So I will switch over after this one. So yeah, we have a creature. And we have stuff to make it bigger. And we have something to deal with the opponent. So we're, we're fine. We're good. Okay. Uh oh, what's this? Actually, something I think I remember considering for the deck. Okay. So play the princess. And next turn, knight's pledge. Oh, hello. Ow. Please resolve. It's mono white and popper. I think this works. I'm trying to think of what they can do against me other than tap it down. <gasps> it's put down. Oh my goodness! I hope it. I have Legion Conquistador in here too. I hope it's that deck. All right, they have one in their hand. Nice. Oh, I love this so much. I love everything about this. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, they're really going to be taxing our uh, our spells then, unfortunately. In that case, it might be better for me to just go for dub here. I can get a little bit of damage in if I make it apathetic. I don't know that that's right here, though. Yeah, we'll dub. We'll dub. Alright, and no, no chum block. Okay. I wonder if they have something like charge where they're just going to hit me all at Oh, no. <gasps> oh, I love it. I love it! I love what they're doing with that. Alright, that's cool. That's really cool. Three or more plane, other planes. Okay, cool. So we put it here. Right, and we can even cycle. Right, pass turn. All right, that was that was cool. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. As I'm getting destroyed here, well destroyed. That that's a lot of cards that they just shut down of mine. No, we'll let it through. And yes, I know that I could have chumped it here had I put it on the envoy, but I'd rather put it on the lifeline creature. I think that makes more sense. <gasps> nice. Oh heck yes! This this is a deck I play in historic too, just for, just for uh, giggles. And then they get two. Okay. All right. Hiya. Okay. We aren't going to be able to make it, though, unfortunately. We need a healer's hawk. Like, eventually they will just outpace us. Unfor that's just how it works, I'm afraid. Okay, now we can actually deal with the, uh, the guide mother with apathy. Critical apathy. Alright, so we put this here. Hiya! Oh, oh my goodness! Okay! Alright, it's okay. Lifelink. We're still way ahead on life, but... Alright. Uh, okay. I love the fact that they did, they're doing what... Oh, they're doing what I'm doing! Oh, that's awesome! Okay. 
Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. I'll hang on to the planes. Ooh, okay. Okay, I still get the reduced cost, but at this point, that doesn't really matter. Can't block. Oh, this is silly. This is so silly. Yeah, doing it here. I'm sorry, wait. Oh, okay, it's saying that I have dreadful apathy still. No, I'm, I'm leaving that there, because otherwise they can get a sentinel dive back. Oh, okay, this is so cool. He says as he's losing. <laughs> this is so stupid. Yeah, they are very thoroughly winning this game now. I could I could use a creature. That's a creature. We take those. And that at least makes it where I'll, I'll take two instead of four this turn. Okay, that's important. I did consider trying to put one of those shells into my deck. I did not. Alright, please. Heliod's Pilgrim. Okay. I'm not sure what that gets me here. I'll need to look carefully. Okay. So, there's only so much I can do with ones like Pacifism that keep them from doing their thing. I think I need to focus on Dub here. Yeah. To get Dub. Onto my Envoy. Because since they can continue to make more and more creatures, um, it doesn't do me a lot of good to just shut a creature down. For this to be the last game with the deck for a while, that is, I am okay with that. Man, I love that they're doing this. Rusty Island, whoever you are, you are amazing. Love everything about you, dude. Wait, 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 don't you have First Strike? Oh, please take that back. Please retract that. Oh no, they have something to do. No wait, they don't. What the heck? Okay. Ow. Okay. It happens. It happens. Alright, let's see what we get. Passivism. Okay. Um... Sure. They're finally almost out. Finally. Okay, when it dies, create a 1-1. One, one. Fair enough. Man, this is just a swarm. Alright, who's coming at me? No one. Good. Smart. I'd have to do something about those flyers eventually. <laughs> you get an aura. You get an aura. You get an aura. You all get auras. I'm not sure if I should attack here. You don't have life gain, so I'm kind of incentivized not to, I think. Oh boy. I think I'll end up taking a lot more damage. Watch that just be a planes. There we go. There's a spell we can use. Now if only I can find some ores to go onto it. Then we'll be in okay shape. Oh no. Okay. Here it, here it comes. Here it comes. Okay. This one's 
pretty simple, I think, if I want to keep the creature around. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six I'll be taking, except now it's five. Once I block here, then it's four, but that creates a lifelink token. I will have to do something about the flyers eventually. No, I won't, because I have a beloved princess. Man, that lifelink's gonna be a pain, though. Music. Uh oh. Oh! <gasps> Good game! Good game! Alright, they got me. That was cool. That was awesome. You got me good. Alright. So even if I had blocked with the princess, I would be at one. Um, which doesn't, doesn't <laughs> get me there, unfortunately. Alas, I would still lose on the next turn. I don't have any similar effects like that. Okay, so that was that was sick. That was silly. Now let's move on to land destruction. <laughs> okay, well that was. I love it. Uh, you'll notice there were two land destruction decks. One is just more updated, so I just pick the more updated one. The other one can be uh, taken apart in a bit. Sure. Why not? It has three mana, it has removal, it has a creature, one of our creatures. There are only eight threats in the deck, so one weakness is that you could just not draw one of your threats. Thankfully, early in the game, if we need to, we can cycle some of ours. Uh, five of the cards in my deck cycle. Five of the win cons. And yeah, I don't have the life gain ones. I didn't bother spending wild cards on it. Let's see. Oh, nothing yet? Fair enough. Timber! Well, okay, this is the slowest mono green start I've seen in a, in a hot minute. Alright, here we go. Something. Something's happening. Uh, sure. Deal three to that. You may put a card from your hand on the bottom of your library if you do draw a card. Yes, thank you. Okay. Now we can start just doing this. Just blowing their stuff up. This doesn't mean we win. Not by any means. This means hopefully we slow them down long enough. Aha! Adventure's Impulse for a land, please. Hey, they did. For a land. They know what's up. They know what's going on. I might even want to save that, but I do have a greater sandworm. We'll blow this up. If I had played the Druid here instead, I'd have Lava Serpent next turn. Okay, so they still have four mana. I don't know what difference that makes. Visionary, okay. Is this just... Wait, what payoffs do you have in Elves in Mono Green? Presumably they're just there for the ramp and card draw. Seismic Shift. No, I need to save that. Alright, and so it begins. Oh, it's Colossal Dread Maw. You are in my deck too, dude. Uh, well, I, I got punished for it. I got punished for it. As you do, I guess. As you do. Haste. Doesn't matter, though. We can't attack here. We'll get there. We'll have a 7-7 seven, seven to their 6-6 six, six on the next turn. Watch this just be mono-green big stuff.
Oh, what does this do? Target creature you control gets plus X plus... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, no, and that has trample. We're still going to take it. No blocks. Unfortunately, we're still going to take it. Hey. I'm going to wait. Eventually, we can build up to a board where I have something like a tech rift and can swing through for lethal. Plus, I have another creature. So they'll just play another bomb instead, I would think. I would think. Yeah, I only have one Colossal Dreadmaw, so there's only one in the deck. It would almost certainly be in instead of uh, Lava Serpent. For exactly the reason that you just saw. Oh. Alright, oh no. You stop. Jeez. Oh, jeez. All right, well, here goes. How much does that mean I take? Five? Aha, we're dead. Okay, okay, that was fun. What I'm, the moral of the story is, Colossal Dreadmaw is the best card. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Magic the Soil Jerking, where Colossal Dreadmaw is worshiped as a god, because it is. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's let's try that again. I I made a misplay in playing out the druid. Greg the establishment. Alright, so we'll keep. This looks fine. Alright, play out the guild gates. I'd like to keep some more lands going. Although I have enough mana ramp, I probably shouldn't have done that. That's okay. We'll make it work. Uh, how about the one that survives shock? Now, I'm on the play, so on the one hand, that means I get my land destruction started earlier. On the other hand, that means they get the extra card. Ooh. Alright, definitely the island. They're unlikely to go for a big turn soon, so we can hold up the Fire Prophecy for later. Thermo Alchemist. Ow. Chemist. Thermo Alchemist. Hmm. This may be wrong. Hey, we got there. Okay. Okay with that. That may seem a little weird. I put it on the bottom and now I'm about to shuffle. But at least I got a new card. A fresh card. Alright. No blocks. How much damage? Oh, no. Okay. That was quick. Ooh. Okay. Get another mountain. As you do. And, of course, draw another forest. Now we're in a pickle. Now we are in a pickle. Ah. I dig it. Uh-oh. Yeah. Shock. Opt. Okay. So there's the first one. Of course, if they have a removal spell, we get punished hard for this, but we already have so much mana, we don't need to keep our mana dorks. Hey, there we go. Hey. Touch screen. OP. Please nerf. Alright, now... Nothing in my deck kills weird anymore, unless it's a creature that's bigger. That's it. Uh-oh. I'm just gonna call this one. Sometimes that's just luck you get. Sometimes it just happens. It's the joy of playing a ramp or a land destruction deck. Sometimes you just don't find... Sometimes you find only mana the entire game. 
right, we'll keep going. Much as I would like to get back to the the mono white deck, I do have a red quest to complete. Oop. I actually don't know if quests are shared for everybody. In other words, if people are incentivized to play red or black because of the quest, or if everyone has did like not everyone, but they're distributed. There we go. Give him the hello. Okay, Garrison Cat. Hmm. Make some mana. And then next turn, start blowing stuff up. <laughs> As you do, I guess. As you do. Alright. Never another... Oh, this is the uh, uh, Soul Warden. Sure. Could do rubble reading, just to make sure I get more, get cards I need. Generally speaking, you want to take out the island, because it creates the, like, it, it's opt, things like that. Um, okay, we'll do it that way. Yes, okay. Uh oh. Life gain. Life gain, life gain, life gain. In and of itself, I'm not worried about life gain, though. Because once we actually establish a win, uh, once we actually establish a win climb, it won't matter. But the five power turn, that's a problem. Uh oh. Right on time. All right now, I need to shift focus. Uh, focus. It has to actually enter the battlefield. You and a you. Oh wow. Oops. Oops. Might be. That's okay, we'll still get to prevent two regardless. Uh oh. Block here. Okay. Here goes. Can cycle the serpent. We'll still get to poke for one in the air. I'd like to keep the serpent around, but we're one mana shy. Yeah, we're still one mana shy. Hmm. This and hold up prophecy. I'll just fire prophecy here. Oh, wait a minute, I should have fired it at the hawk. Hmm, I'll, I'll search for a land. Hey, there we go. Right on time. Yeah, I should have fired it at the hawk instead. The hawk is flying, and we have a creature to block the 2-2. Two -two. Misplay. Oh my goodness, that's loud. There we go. Take one. Take one down. Uh oh, they have counterspell magic. Counterspell mana. Hmm. We'll have it for later. I have enough mana I can trade the carry added. 
Oh, okay. Oh, but when it dies, it makes a token anyway. Alright. On to my turn. Hello, my pretties. Alright. And with Dragonfire, we can actually take out the Healer's Hawk. Or we could take out the Cat. I think it's better to take out the Healer's Hawk. And we didn't have to do that just then. That may have been wrong of me. But this does not have Light Gang. Lifelink. But I'm at 8. Oh, we got there. That did not feel like... That didn't feel like a win in the making, to be honest. But I guess they, they needed some white-white for some stuff in their hands? Maybe? Alright. How far along am I in that quest? About halfway, 13 out of 30. Yeah, let's keep it at Let's keep at it. And get one more in. One more sounds good. This was going to turn into Mono White Auras, the showcase. And now it's become Land Destruction, the showcase. Because when in doubt, I will play Land Destruction in everything. Because there is no infect. <laughs> there, there is a, a tendency I try to have towards finding uh, archetypes that they typically don't like classic archetypes they typically don't like putting into standard, like Turbo Fog or Land Destruction. Understandably, they may not be the, the craziest about them. Okay. Uh, it was something like this. The heck? <laughs> they might not be the craziest about your creatures don't do anything every turn, or your lands don't exist every turn. That's why all these land destruction spells are 4 mana now instead of 3. You won't ever see stone rain in... Not actual stone rain with no downside. In standard. Ever again. Period. End of story. Hmm. Yay for coffee. Keeping me in this. Huh. Library Larcenist. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'll do this now. Oh, Jay, you genius. I'm supposed to crack the Evolving Wilds first. We'll just pretend it didn't matter. Uh, why am I doing this now? At this point, I kind of just don't care. Ah! Oh well. I'm, as you can see, I'm playing very, oh, very tightly here. Okay. Well, we have stuff. And now that we have stuff, we can do stuff. Let's start blowing stuff up. Please miss your land drops. Pretty please? Nope. Okay. Well, never mind then. Just hit me for three, I guess? What are you afraid of? Alright, as flying as long as you control another merfolk. Uh -oh. I have a little bit more time I can do this. Alternatively, I can make a wall. I don't know how many more turns I want to give them three mana, though. But, counter spells, well... Yeah, this way I'll just take two. And now that I have enough, I can do... I don't know that I need the carry added anymore. Yeah, Fire Prophecy drop carry added. Ah, Colossal Dread Maw, which I can cast because Karyati makes two now. Oh well, they got four mana. Oh well. Before I resolve Dread Maw, I'll try to blow up some more lands so that it resolves. I'll try to. Oh, 
Oh, water trap waiver. Never mind, we'll just stick a dread maw then. Jade bear. Okay. Uh oh. Bro, bro. I do like the merfolk shenanigans we have going on here. Hi. Hey guys. Can I be in the game now? Uh oh. Well. So these just read four mana, creatures without flying can't block this turn. That's basically what they read at this point. Aha! We got there. Hoorah! Can't beat Colossal Dreadmaw. Best card. Best card in the game. Seems like it's a pretty good card for the format. Just maybe. <laughs> it certainly helps that it's available because of being in Ixalan and now what two core sets since Arena came out so yeah it, it's pretty prevalent uh, you know what while I'm here let's brew something up let's make let's call it historic just just for the sake of it we don't get the chance to do this too often and yeah let's let's see what I have okay so that seems pretty obvious. That seems pretty obvious. No matter what I play, those are going to be in. So let, let's go from there. Uh, small creatures die to dead white. Uh, so maybe some number of these. And we can take something out later if we need. Uh, what else do I want to do on the first turn? Divest seems okay. Seems like it'd be a creature heavy format. I guess. I would think. We can take it out if we need. Omen, um, let's see, well, I know that I'm going to have, where'd you go? Oh, oh, interesting, interesting, and, uh, yeah, our little vampire friend is an uncommon, I guess, that, that's a drag, alright, one of Mog one Mogus favor, because I can recur it, let's see, so now for some two drops, what kind of deck would I like to be running? Uh, Burglar Rat for discard shenanigans? I can take it out if I need, if I'm not going to run that. Let's see, Doom to Center. No, hmm, hmm. I guess I'm building Mono Black Tempo, though I am starting at the bottom of the curve, so we'll see if that changes. Here's Meyer's Grasp, there we go, that's more like it. Ah, uh, you know what? Um, I want to. I want to so badly. All right. So in that case, if we're doing that, uh, then let's see. So Divest still gets to stay in. Mogus Favor gets to stay in. Whisper Squad comes out. Burglar Rat gets to stay in because it's a rat. Removal basically gets to stay in. And then I need four more cards, four more spells. And they're probably just going to be removal of some kind, one sort or another. <laughs> Sword's Thirst. Uh, you know, that doesn't seem like it's right, especially since I don't have anything for big creatures yet. I need something to deal with the huge creatures. Let's see. I mean, I guess there's always murder. You could just murder them. Yeah, I mean, can't argue with that. You can always just murder them. Context. Create a food token. I mean, I guess that's a way to draw into more. There has to be a better way to do that, though. I would think. Swords Thirst kind of keeps me in the game. Gives me something to do, you know, low to the ground. Hmm. Going back through this, I think we've pretty much built the deck. <laughs> Jeez. This will very quickly wrap up my quest, is the hope. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Because it looks fun. I guess that's the answer. Alright, so anything that Sword and Thirst divest, maybe? 
Hmm. That's another turn one play, though. So we have a, a decent number six one drops, a billion two drops, because that's what we do. Forbidding, forboding fruit, three murder. Yeah, that's fine. Popper rat colony. Okay, it won't let me keep that many letters around, but that's fine. All right. Well, okay, there we go. And now we jump back into the event with Rat Colony of all things. How do I delete this one? I don't. Okay, cool. We'll do that later. Submit deck. Ta-da! Rat Colony. Without Rat Colony is the art. Devil Bat. Okay. So today's lesson. Um, Lessons. One, Colossal Dreadmaw is bay. Two, uh, Mono White is silly and has lots of neat stuff to work with. Three, Colossal Dreadmaw is an excellent card. Four, Rat Colony works in everything. Uh, and five, when in doubt, Rat Colony, or Colossal Dreadmaw. There we go. Uh oh. a lot going on here. I'll make them discard a card first, since it's a weird deck. This also helps Rat Colony out, too. I'll have to deal with the Spitter at some point, but I have enough removal spells I can wait. Ow. Actually, you know what? This is fine. Uh-oh. Oh, neat! Something to get out of the way. So they have no cards I don't know about yet. Sacrifice a creature or planeswalker. So what you're saying is, if I keep them off of creatures, I can do whatever I want. I would lose a rat colony for, to do this. I think it's okay. Either they play out the... well, they don't have... there it goes. They have the mana now. No blocks. There's weird. Okay. So now we murder it in the face. Or we grasp it. Alright. Are you gonna when are you gonna blow up the rat colony? I'm sure they don't want to yet. Alright, then they play another one. Can I please find a land? No? Okay. Well, Divest doesn't do anything yet. So maybe I should go murder here so that if I draw a land next turn, I can go grasp Rat Colony. Hiya. Yeah, they are winning this race right now. Dead weight. Oh, I should attack first. That's an instant. Yeah, I should attack first. Alright, now they kill it. It's going to die anyway, so they might as well. Okay. Oh, at me! That's interesting. I, I admit, I was not expecting that. What's that last card? Whatever they don't play, I'll try divest. I'll try divesting it. Okay, so land, other card. Nope, act of treason. Ooh, okay. Is that a thing? Well, they have no cards in hand, so... Hiya! In my turn. Rat Colony, get there. Please concede. It's like the, the Jeb Bush, please clap. Please concede. Wasn't it also like, there's someone else in politics or political commentary that got made fun of for that too. Please clap.
Oh, okay. That's a thing. Well, that's the one card in their hand, so we'll just divest here. I mean, we'll not divest. We'll cycle here. Uh, well, they already attacked with it, so... Good game? Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, they have to make me do it, I suppose. Alright, so I don't think we've gotten it just yet, right? Maybe we have... Oh! No, not yet. Alright, so we got, a, we got a cod. We got a cod. Plus one, plus O, and has haste. I mean, yeah, I guess it's it's going to be maximized velocity after rotation, I suppose. Alright, so we haven't gotten there yet, right? We're at... so close. 25, okay. We're almost there. Let's get there. Alright, next one gets me 50 coins, so... Even better. See if we can get, what is that, win number six? Yep, six wins. Maybe. He says as he jinxes it. Oh, Hikikomori. Okay. Uh, that's not a name that I recognize, but it is a word in Japanese that I recognize. Um, uh, some, something of a translation would be a an extreme shut-in. Alright, so then we'll go... Play out the rat colony, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Play a rat colony and pass. Okay. We can get rid of that, but we can't play another one yet. Alas, we cannot. Ooh! Okay, never mind, we have to play again. <laughs> Alright, so it's the mutate deck and they lost their mutate payoff. Or maybe they lost the only creature into which they could mutate. So, yeah, that'll do it, I guess. But we only got to play a grand total of two, so let's keep going. Well, this, this episode is going to be a little longer than expected. That's a good thing, mind you. But it is. <laughs> The White Walker. Mono White. Or I guess it could be blue because of all the frost, the ice effects. Okay, this is fine. I feel like every time I say this is fine and have a sip of my coffee, I'm the character from the cartoon, or the comic. Okay, I like that. So it's a uh, Basking Rootwalla. Part 2. Just going to attack and. Nope, not yet. What is this? Creature with power 4 greater, it loses defender. Okay, that's unfortunate. Kill this thing now. Alright. Efficient usage of mana. This thing, this obnoxious little... <laughs> it's okay. That's a cool, that's a cool design for a sleeve. Uh-oh. Alright, well, they draw a card at least. Ooh, okay. I like this donkey plan. I like what they're doing. Divest. Yeah, let's do that first. Better late than never. Let's see what they have going on. Yeah, you can target yourself. Alright, so two giant growths. Which means I want to do this now, don't I? So Mogus Mo Meyer's Grasp, Mogus Favor, uh, will beat Giant Growth because eventually that growth will wear off. Grasp will not. Oh boy. Uh, okay, so we're just going in on the huge, huge beat plan. Uh, which I, I guess I respect. I, that's fair. All right. yeah, hopefully they won't have a creature. Actually, it won't matter because let's take whatever card out of their hand. They're going to drop Giant Growth. Right? Yeah. Has, no, they didn't. They dropped rabbit. Okay, rabbit by. That makes sense. All right, tracker. Tax or blocks, or you can. Okay, one plus one, plus one till end of turn. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. 
So... Attack. They'll block, use Giant Growth, and then we'll hit it with Grasp of Darkness. Oh no, they're going to damage. No. Okay, we're good. We're good. We lose some of our damage, unfortunately. And now they see the, the game plan. They see what's going on. Now it's pretty obvious. I can't say that I understand why they didn't at least try for it. They don't have to play it alone. Okay. Most common mistake, playing out your lands early. Uh, if you find another land, you can just play the land you already had. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't ultimately matter. Not in this case. They don't have a creature onto which, onto which they can put, say, like a combat trick. Here goes. Damage. Uh, but yeah, in all seriousness, one small improvement that you can make to your game is just not playing out your lands until you uh, until you have another land in your hand. There may be some instances when you don't want to do that, like if you have a curve topper, you want to make sure you... No, 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 that, that's it. That's it. That, that's about it. If I have four lands on the field and one in hand, and one of my outs is Liliana Dreadhorde General, if I don't have... if I play the land, then, you know, I still don't have the Liliana. If I draw Liliana, I still don't have the mana for Liliana, so you can just wait. Alright, if that made any sense at all. I know what I'm trying to say. Alright, trumpeting gnar. Gnar. Alright. Oh, fair enough, I guess. Alright, so we have a ton of coins, so... Let's go get a pack, I guess. Eeny, meeny, miny, which one am I trying to open now? See, there's a... There's a card or two from Throne I would like. Theris Beyond Death still has some cards I could use, but I think now we're into Ikoria because of the the Trilands. M21 is fun, for sure. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm just going to try to grind for the Trilands so that they can let me brew more more decks. That would be neat. nice. That would be neat. Uh, we'll just do one, I guess. One is fine. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, my closing the video out with a pack opening. Sure, why not? see what we get. And... Da, 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 da. Whatever it is, it's a rare. Maybe a mythic! Okay. Hey, that's... That's my favorite card in Ikoria. <laughs> it's alright. I have gracious plenty mythics. Uh, maybe I'll start using them when standard comes around so that I can start out with the best deck. That's what you use mythic wild cards for. Uh, but aside from that, there is one deck in Historic that I would like to brew, but it's tier 14. It's not good. It's the Vidalkin uh, Archmage deck that you saw me try to pilot in the All Access event, uh, where I would need this for Mox Amber, unfortunately. I have enough. I guess I could do both. Alright, that's that, I guess. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, what... What did you run in the event? What's your historic popper deck? And also, if I'm not mistaken, when you build popper in this normally, I mean, let me check to make sure, I think it forces you into standard. Interesting. It doesn't even give you that option normally. Okay, well, never mind. So, like, if I were to try to go into... Oh. I'm trying to remember where I saw it. There was a, a place where it lets you go and, and play Popper, but uh, the Popper that I was running, it only let me run standard events, standard decks, which I guess makes sense. It helps them sell more packs. Uh, but Historic keeps you in the game. It keeps you playing Arena. So 
I also have a land destruction deck to get rid of somewhere down here. I have no idea. There's so many decks in here. Who even knows? I, I don't touch... Oh, whatever. And on that silly note, <laughs> take care, everybody. I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.